And now, breaking news badly. That's long. That's a big, long intro. Anyway, breaking news badly. Welcome to it. I'm JB Webb, WJBWNetworks.com. I guess you know how we do it. Or if you don't, you're about to find out. On this uh, show, we do uh, news headlines horribly and kind of plow through a bunch of audiovisual uh, representations found on the Internet. Sometimes you will get a good story or two, uh, one or three or four. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, first out of the gate, a remarkable news study suggests that Stonehenge was built to amplify sound during ancient ruling class rituals. This is an interesting uh, article. If you're into that kind of stuff, it's news.artnet.com. And that's a Stonehenge article. And uh, when I was younger, I think I used to think it was Stonehenge, right? Do people all people still think it's Stonehenge? Henge? Wait, I can't say it wrong now. Hold on. Stonehenge. Yeah, I think I thought it was Stonehenge. But it really is Henge. Henge. All right. Anyway, uh, so speaking of uh, ruling class ancient ritual, uh, I found this. Let's see if I can get it uh, going for you here. Uh, It's uh, someone, I guess, took a recent Alex Jones rant and turned it into uh, an indie song. Uh, Let's see if we got that here for you. The paradigm of absolute control. Yeah. And that's why we're just out here doing simple things, pointing out that we're meant to be in nature and be natural. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. This guy. I'm angry. Lost it. I've had enough of these people. Little bones of Christian murderers scum. They're on giant death factories keeping babies alive. He's selling their body parts. What more do you need to know about these people? This is his word. Have them on video. Hillary's in the creepy weird six stuff, man. There you go. You get that. So they took all Alex Jones' words and uh, made a folk song out of it. Uh, you can find that. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Like it out there. Uh, so on the Twitter feed, you can see that liked video recently there if you want to follow that. If you haven't already heard that. Uh, next, coming to you here. What do I got now? Okay, uh, Alex Jones. Okay, so this is a big one. Uh, I've seen a lot of people getting uh, upset about this uh, sometime last week, I believe. Facebook bans can now delete banned accounts for live streaming shows. Uh, Coming to you from loudwire.com. Facebook clarifies live streaming music policy. This is an update for you. And, uh, yeah, that was about last week, I guess. So uh, people are all up in arms, and it'll be interesting to see how this all pans out. But a great example is somebody here who's uh owns the music and the, are they going to get a content uh, strike if they've got that music you know uh published through a, a specific house uh, that's monitoring this kind of thing i don't know i think it's interesting anyway but it also shows you that i guess they've let this go for a long time are they trying to monetize or get royalties from this i don't know Anyway, uh, they're not going to let you do what you used to be able to do uh, or are doing now. So enjoy doing what you're doing now on Facebook. <sighs> Can uh, eating bugs help save the planet? Let's find out. Oh, that's so, sweet. so there's this video. This very good food. I was watching Fox News as I worked out this morning. Nutrition. Insects are just as nutritious as animals. We already eat. All kinds of analyses, and in terms of protein, of fat, of vitamins, it's very good. In fact, it's comparable to anything that we eat as meat at the moment. Vitamins B1, 2, D, minerals, fewer diseases. Things are quite like us. 
That means that pigs also share diseases with us. Pig virus and a human virus can both combine and produce a new virus. They're so distantly related from us that this doesn't happen. They're giving you reasons there. Fewer resources. Same amount of meat using a fraction of the water, land, feed. Resources required for insects, far less than what is required for livestock. Greenhouse gas, 30 times more toxic than carbon for dioxide. For a of manure, you have much, much less ammonia and fewer greenhouse gases when you have insect manure than when you have cow manure. Making a great case. They are making a great case. They say here, livestock creates more greenhouse gases than the uh, aeroplanes. Making the switch wouldn't even be hard. very much like this grasshopper. Shrimps. Delicacy. Shrimp. The locust is a shrimp of the land. Okay. <laughs> locust is a shrimp of the land. Businesses are finding new ways, like sprinkling it on chocolate, to use instinct. Ugh, dipping. Don't, strawberry. Don't do that. Eating bugs. Jeez, I can't keep up with this. It would also help feed our rapidly How growing are we going population. To feed this world? At the moment, we have something between six and seven billion people. It will grow to about nine billion in 2050. Right. That means that we have a lot more mouths to feed. This is something that worries more and more people. Well, there you go. Would you start eating insects? I don't know. I guess uh, there we go. We can share that on the breaking news a few badly weeks ago, page. We released there. hot mic oh, video. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to I'm trying to run a show over here, buddy. Hold on, I want to share that video over to Breaking News Badly, uh, the page. If you haven't liked this over there, you can go ahead and do it now while I'm doing this. Hold on, as I uh, finding as I share now, as I, um, finding where I want to send it. Anyway, I'll do that uh, on my own time potentially. Should we eat insta- insects? Great, great question. Do you think that's what it's going to come to? It surely could. Another interesting one for you there, if you're a phonetic a language uh, person, uh, this is from a Blogspot site. Map ranks from uh, this map uh, they have here ranks from least to most difficult languages to learn. So they put uh, what is it English in there, and it looks like the most difficult uh, is the blue. Is that Africa? Anyway, there you go. Uh, find out if, if that is something that interests you, find out more about it there. There you go. Breaking news badly. You can now order a 3d printed mind controlled prosthetic arm. This, uh, is, uh, from big think, uh, on Facebook, free think freethink.com has the article. And you can now order a 3D printed mind controlled prosthetic arm. A startup announces its new 3D printed customized prosthetic prosthetic arm. It can be controlled by the wearer's mind. Wow, that's pretty fascinating that there's even technology you can control with your mind. I wonder how invasive that is. Anyway, if you're interested, there's the article. Again, freethink.com. How mutual masturbation can help close the orgasm gap. I don't know how this one got in here, but it's on Mashable.com. How mutual masturbation can help close the orgasm gap. And I guess that's for male and or females. I guess male couples are already doing that already. But it may be weird with a man and a woman masturbate together. I don't know. This post is part of (laughs) Mashable's Masturbation Week. Wow. May that's old that's from 2018 what am i doing oh i got it to you you should have been masturbating for two years now i'm so sorry may is national masturbation month so we're celebrating by exploring the many facets of self-love so there you go you can uh you can find that mashable.com there you go from two years ago scooby-doo and we would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those damn dates on that uh, news article anyway this one's a little bit headier it's eight logical fallacies that are hard to spot this is on bigthink.com uh i gave this a quick read and it's interesting uh, it, it's interesting to me uh because you know sometimes when you see people repeatedly doing something over and over and over again uh you can peel back and understand how they think uh so This article goes into uh, people's way of thinking that you may not agree with or like. Anyway, on to this biggest one here. Uh, I think this is a legitimate source. People be seeing UFOs in uh, New Jersey. 
uh, UFO Sightings Daily dot com, of course, uh, has their uh, was that September fifteenth, fourteen, fifteenth. It's a pictures of USO uh, UFOs saying that a bunch of people heard it. Here's uh, some- yo, dead ass look. It's a fucking spaceship. Look, the whole street is fucking stopped. There's a fucking flying spaceship. Wow, there it is. That's what the fuck. There you go. Go to another uh, video from Look. a, a user. I mean, I think that there surely could be uh, vehicles we don't we're not aware of yet. What is this? They put music to it? No, no, no. Uh, but I do think that there could be more advanced uh, technology out there that we're just not aware of of yet and potentially they're testing it i mean look at drones if you saw that in the sky 10 years ago you'd probably be like oh crap that's a ufo uh you know depending on what it looked like i guess but at any rate uh so they slowly roll out the technology to us uh here on the ground and they got a whole bunch of badass shit i'm sure that we've uh, never seen before anyway here's a little bit of uh something that kind of freaked me out and uh, i just can't believe this is a real thing this poor gentleman has to live with this horrible affliction and uh let me just fire this up for you just uh, go put your food 40 down. year old dan mora suffers from a mysterious medical condition that has taken over his life For the last seven years, his testicle sac has been growing uncontrollably. How's your day going? It's made me a prisoner in my own body. It's like carrying a ball and Jane. Horrible. The best way I could describe the weight for someone if they're trying to imagine it in their head um, would be to slit open your scrotum and put in three large bowling balls and sew it back up and have you carry it around. No. I'm constantly in pain. It looks horrible. And it's a lot of weight on your back. So it's very hard to move. It looks horrible, dude. The unusual condition is so severe, it restricts every movement. This is where I have to uh, go to urinate. Well, it was smaller. I can lift it onto the toilet. He's in the shower. The toilet. But when it got bigger, there was always a chance that it'd make a mess. So it was just easier to pee into the uh, shower stall and then rinse it down with the water. Good Lord. Well, that's probably been two years since I could use a normal toilet to urinate. Supporting Dan through his struggle is his loving wife, Mindy. Mindy is my wife. Uh, Uh, We've been together almost 20 years. Okay. She's my best friend. She's my everything. Okay, baby doll. Dan relies on Mindy for all his needs. Dan has become a prisoner of his own body, and I've, I've become a prisoner with him. He's not able to do any of the things that he loves doing. If he wanted to go out and get a gallon of milk and a loaf of bread on the way home, Dan can't do that. If he wanted to, like, take a shower all by himself and right. get, you know... Horrible. He can't do that. If I was to the list, it would be an hour-long show of just things that had been taken away from him one by one. Yeah, this is prayer. But it's, it's, you know, it's the kind of things you do for somebody you love, you know? It has control. It tells me where I can go. It tells me how long I can stay somewhere. It tells me where I can go to the bathroom. It basically has control over my life. Yeah. She's helping him in the shower. Get out of the shower. In a desperate attempt to slow down the scrotum's growth, Mindy and Dan wrap the mass in compression bandages. It's crazy. We use the bandages to try to slow bit and grow it further. But we also use the bandage bandages to try to, like, break it up a little bit so it might get smaller. What is happening? We're only slowing it down. We're not stopping. Not even blue balls. Trying to stop the sea with a sand bucket. Elephantitis. It's crazy. Man, that's horrible. Anyway, uh, that is what you get on Breaking News Badly, followed by this. I got a message for all you liberals out there. You want my gun, my firearm? Come take it from me. Just walk through my door, come into my home, and take it from me with your weak soft, liberal, girlish hands. Just try to put those hands on me. Those soft, liberal hands. Put them on me, on my body. Just 
slowly, gently dragging your fingers up and down my arm, giving me goosebumps. Right. You want my gun? Come kiss me for it. Okay. But not like right away. Don't be right. too obvious with it. Let's do that thing where we our faces get close to each other, sure. and you know what's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. You just stare at each other's lips, but yeah. you're waiting for the right signal to give yourself over to them completely, like in a walk to remember. Come do that for my gun. Bite my lip and play with my hair for my fire wrong. If you want my gun, come spank me for it. Not like not, not like too hard, but like like still hard, you know, like yeah. like like hurt me, but make me feel safe at the same time. You pussy liberals. There you go. <laughs> www.jbw.all1word.co. All right. And breaking news badly. I uh, got a few more for you here, uh, but I will try to keep this uh, program very swift, very uh, quick. Intellectual hum- humility, the importance of knowing you might be wrong. So God, you got some time, go to voxvox.com and read that. Uh, it actually shows uh, how uh, being able to admit that you're wrong allows you to see not only other people's you know, views and perspectives, but solutions that maybe you wouldn't have seen if you never thought you were wrong. So people who don't think you're wrong, you're kind of scare scaring us because uh, the real smart people admit when they're wrong. Anyway, WFTV.com, Orlando woman arrested after threatening to kill a congresswoman. So that's all. I'll leave you with that uh, as a quick headline there. And a Medicaid. I've never heard of this. Our buddy over at the Bearded Weatherman, uh, Bearded Weatherman, shared a post. Medicaid, a rare hurricane-like storm in the Mediterranean, makes a landfall in Greece. So I guess a Mediterranean hurricane, they call it a Medicaid. I don't know. I've I've never heard that before. But uh, anyway, you can go to CNN.com. That's the source for that one. Next up, uh, Fort Myers Rock radio station goes Trump country? Is it legal? This is on uh, floridapolitics.com. It's a Fort Myers rock radio station. They ditched the rock for country. And uh, apparently they're they're calling themselves Trump country. 93.7 launched Wednesday, as would have been last week, about tailgates and heartaches uh, from President Donald Trump impersonator. The move not only caused discord among now silenced 93X Rocks listeners, but raised questions about the use of public airwaves in the largest swing state to promote a single candidate in the highest profile election in America. Read on. Again, that's a FloridaPolitics.com, uh, Fort Myers Rock Station. Can they, is it legal? Can they do that? Well, they're doing it. Yes, probably a lot. It seems like there's a lot of that going around. Anyway, uh, why are 2 million people still getting Netflix DVDs by, by mail? Yeah, remember, that's how Netflix started. They would mail your ass a DVD, and you would mail it back when you were done. Get another one. Tell them what you want. And uh, so there's still a couple thousand people that are still uh, doing that. That's on Wired.com. Not giving up those DVDs, apparently. And uh, this one's interesting. All Foot Locker stores to become voter registration sites, WFTV.com. That's nationwide. Interesting article there. Uh, 20 of the most excruciating pains a human can experience, according to the NHS. And this is on independent.co.uk. Uh, quick, quick through there. Uh, number one on the list is shingles. Cluster headaches, number two, frozen shoulder, broken bones. Well, that makes sense. Complex regional pain syndrome, excuse me, heart attack, slip disc, sickle cell disease, arthritis, migraine, sciatica, kidney stones, appendicitis. Wow, list goes on and on. Gout is on there. Stomach ulcer, look at that. Endometriosis, bra, endometriosis as well, bra. Uh, so there you go. Find that, uh, find that out there. Uh, more about that there and, uh, more about that there over that there. Of course, uh, there you go. You got a, what is happening? This is from uh, democracy. Now 
dot org. Uh, Amy Doris becomes twenty sixth woman to accuse Trump of sexual misconduct. Twenty sixth woman. If I did that, if anyone did that, twenty six women are saying your sexual what is it? Sexual misconduct. I, I mean that is just crazy. No wonder you needed to be president to hide all this bullshit you've been doing. You would have been locked up with that whole Me Too thing, I'm sure. That's why. Ah, that's why. Ah, we just pieced it all together. We just solved a lot of stuff here on Breaking News Badly. Next up, the unfortunate uh, passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg um, has a lot of people um, being aware of her life work. And uh, here's one great uh, video I'm going to share with you of her self-speaking here. I think this was 2019, uh, but it really gives you some great direction on how to deal. It's very hard to do anything as a loner. But if you get together with... Hmm? It's very hard to do anything as a loner. But if you get together with like-minded people, you you can be a force for change. It's very hard to do anything. Yeah, I'll leave that. Let that play again. I like it. It's very hard to do anything as a loner. But if you get together with like-minded people, you can be a force for change. That's fantastic. And um, so now, of course, I don't have an article on the, you know, scrambling to get somebody in the seat. It's just all so desperate. And uh, besides that, I think Democrats are smarter uh, than that. There's probably a couple different little tricks going on right now uh, that can prevent all that. But nevertheless, uh, I keep rambling forward, as we encourage you to do as well and the next one up is common dreams.org colossal backdoor bailout outrage as pentagon funnels hundreds of millions meant for covid supplies to private defense contractors so uh the swamp the corruption seems like everything's uh just gone the total opposite direction there and uh so we don't want to uh <laughs> We don't want to help that idea. I like going forward, not backward. Anyway, I keep saying that. Cannabis in the presidential race, semicolon, Biden-Harris pledge to decriminalize marijuana. So uh, read more about that, wjla.com. Find that article there. Uh, Debate organizers uh, reveal six topics for first Trump-Biden showdown. And I guess that's coming up at some point next week, I think. But, uh, you know, let me see if I can run through these for you. Uh, Hold on. I don't see them. I don't have them. There you go. Breaking news, family. My apologies. Six topics. There you go. First Biden-Trump showdown. I'm going to close this out for you uh, with one last one that I have here. And it is uh, kiss your beer goodbye if climate change continues unchecked. This is on Flipboard.com. And, of course, that's just uh, the tip of the iceberg there. Oh. Oh no, that's tip. the tip of the iceberg is all is all gone. It's all done. It's over with. I totally forgot about that. It's all gone. Anyway, uh, appreciate you hanging out, uh, sharing it, listening to it. Uh, sh- uh, send us ideas, comments. You can do whatever you want to do at wjbwnetworks.com. Communicate with us there. Yeah, uh, I like it. Yep. Yeah, all right. So we'll see you the next time. Uh, whenever I do this, probably next week, I try to do the Circadian Cast music show and breaking news badly. Keep you going here. Might have some exciting new shows coming out here in the fall. Uh, we had some cold weather in Florida today. That was super nice. Everyone loved it. I Everyone loved it in the world. Everyone I speak with loves it. All right. Love and respect each other. See ya. Thank you. Bye. WJBW, Orlando, Florida. The first quasi-radio web show. Wow. Yeah, hey.